Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with three different types of brushes in WPF. The first one is going to be the solid color brush, the second one is going to be the linear gradient brush and the third one is going to be the radial gradient brush. So let's get started with the linear, sorry, the solid color brush. So we type in solid color brush, set its color property and we'll set it to something and you can just end the tag there and there it is this is that's how simple the solid color brush is All right, the next type of brush we're going to look at is the linear gradient brush um, we, we want to create an opening and closing tag for this instead of finishing it in one tag in a linear gradient brush, you want to create gradient stops. So we go gradient stop, set its color property, um, and we also have to set an offset property. And I'm going to set the offset to zero because we want this to be at the beginning of our brush, and then we're going to close the gradient stop tag. Just want to copy that line of code, paste it, change the color to whatever that is, and we'll make a change at around 25% of the way through the brush. So the gradient is offset is going to be 0.25. Then paste another one. Hopefully pick a color that contrasts better. We'll make it dark green. And we'll make the offset of this 60% of the way through the brush. Paste another one. And this is what the brush is going to end at. The color the brush will end at. And we'll set the color to that dark orange. Cool. And that's what a linear gradient brush looks like. Now a radial gradient brush is also really similar. Which you can just type in radial instead of linear and it will change itself. And all it is is a linear color brush but instead of flowing in one direction it flows from the center out we're gonna set we can set a property of the radi radial gradient brush it's called gradient origin and we can set it to something like say the top left hand side corner so we'll just set it to zero zero we can make it the top right hand side of the screen by setting the first value to 1 so um, the gradients or gradient origin is two decimal values between 0 and 1 separated by commas and um, that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time